So if you're getting filament clogged in your 3D printer, here's five tips to try to help fix that problem. So real quickly, the most common reason to get clogs is because your filament is heating up prematurely. There's the hot end of the extruder, which is just that metal piece at the very bottom. And then there's your heat sink and a tube connecting the two. The reason you're getting clogs is because heat is traveling up that tube and heating your filament before it can be compressed into the smaller tube and extruded out. So the first way to prevent it is to separate those two barriers. Keep your hot end hot and your heat sink cold. So you can insulate or use metal uh, aluminum flashing and insulate that hot end. So you can watch a couple previous videos I did. One where I replaced the hot end and I wrapped it with Kapton tape. That helps a little. Or you can wrap it with a fiberglass or a carbon fiber wrap and then aluminum flashing tape. And that will keep, try to keep the heat within your hot end. Another thing is to use um, uh, heat paste when you connect the tube and the heat sink to try to prevent that heat from traveling between the two. You want, to, if any heat does get up the, the tube, which it will, you want it to get in that heat sink and dissipate. You don't want it to be contained in the center because if it does, that filament is going to get uh, soft and gummy and when you're retracting and extruding, it's gonna get clogged and that's where the clog happens. So that's number one is to try to insulate it. Number two, is to try to clean up and make that PTFE tube in your hot end as good as it can be. If you saw a cross section of the hot end, it, the tube will come down and it will taper. It will not be a 90 degree, it'll, it'll taper to the smaller tube in a Bowden tube setup. So if you're just gonna cut your PTFE tube at a 90 degree, you're gonna have a gap where it tapers to your 90 degree. So if you can sand or file down that PTFE tube to fit the, the opening. So you can look, when you push it down in there, you don't just want it to stop, you want it to slide in to match that contour of the tube. That will help insulate it, insulate the, the filament further down and not have that air gap. So that's number two. The third way you can fix uh, filament clogging is to lower the temperature. Now, I had a lot of problems after an hour of printing. It wouldn't happen right away. It would happen an hour in or two hours into a long print. And it's really frustrating when everything's going fine and then the filament stops coming out and you realize it's clogged. So what you can do is you can print the first few layers at your normal temperature, say 205, 210 for PLA. And then you can actually lower it to try to help it along, help uh, keep it cool within that heat sink. So you can lower it down to 190 at the extruder. It's not gonna help a ton, but it'll help a little to try to limit that heat from traveling up when you don't need excessive temperatures to melt your filament. So that's number three. Number four is to uh, adjust your retraction speed and your retraction distance. A lot of times you're heating up that filament and then if you have a high retraction, you're actually pulling it back up into the heat sink. And if you're pulling back uh, repeatedly, you're pulling back that hot filament up before it tapers down. And if it's soft and you're trying to push it back down, it's not gonna make it, it's gonna clog up. A typical retraction might be four millimeters and 40 millimeters per second. So maybe if you lower that, you might get some stringiness, but at least you won't be retracting up repeatedly that hot filament and causing it to clog. So that's number four. And the last tip I can give you is you can use uh, an oiler to oil your filament. And there's tons of different uh, models and versions you can print off. They're just a little tube or container or a closing container where you put a sponge in there and you run your filament through that and you put some oil, a few drops of oil on that sponge. So as the filament's passing through, it's cleaning it off, it's lubricating it. So when it passes through those tubes, it's not getting bound up. It's hopefully sliding through as smoothly as possible and not causing any more areas where it can snap and jam and and that's where it's clogging when you're trying to force uh, the filament through an area that it's got a, a kink or a bend or it's not smooth you want to keep everything smooth and tight in there no air gaps no sharp corners one last thing I forgot to mention if all that fails you can also add a bigger fan lots of times they'll come with a 30 millimeter fan or a 40 you can put a 50 or a 60 millimeter fan on the front it might be more weight but by adding more air in into that heat sink, you're keeping it cooler 
and you're keeping that hot filament down where it needs to be at the hot end. So keep that top part cool. So if you want to add a bigger fan, I did a whole video on that. You can watch that uh, with a link down in the description. So hopefully all of these tips help and will keep you from getting clogs in your extruder. Well, I hope you liked the video you just watched. If you did, feel free to subscribe by clicking the button on this side. You can also check out all the videos I've done, um, the playlist from things I've built, things I've fixed, home repair, 3D printing. And on this side, you can check out a recommended video similar to the one you just watched. And as always, down in the description, I'll put a link to my blog, which has more pictures and more information about the video you just watched. Thanks.